Okay, now I'm going to show you another interesting feature on the calculator. Uh, I'm going to show you something called the independent ask feature. Now, at this point here, you might not see an awful lot of use to this, but I'm, I'm hoping that this will stir some thought. Okay, so what I'm going to do, first of all, I've identified that I'm, I'm entering in one half x plus three. So here we go. On my calculator, I've got one half x plus three. Uh, and I can go and look at my table of values here, second table, and there's our table of values. Now, something else that I can do here, okay? I could go into second table set. Now, we, we had gone in here before to identify what happens when you change the table start and the delta table, what that goes up by. But here's another thing that you can do. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change the independent from auto to ask. Now, what that's going to do here is it's going to set the calculator up so that it no longer automatically calculates uh, like goes from X values to Y values, it's actually going to wait and, uh, and let you determine what the X values are. So for example, if I now press second table, there's nothing there. What the calculator is waiting for me to do is to enter the particular X coordinates that I'm interested in. So maybe I want to know well, what happens if X is equal to one? Well, it's three, Y is 3.5. What if X is 10? Okay, uh, Y is eight. What if x is negative 15? Okay, so I get negative 4.5. So if, if I'm needing x values that aren't nicely ordered in a table of values, I can choose whatever x values I want and get the y coordinates from those. Uh, hopefully you'll see how that might be useful, for example, in, a, in the context of a multiple choice question on an exam, wink, wink, nudge, nudge.